Good morning. Uh, good to be with you today on this Tuesday. Uh, weather certainly is a little more inspiring than it was yesterday. Uh, thanks for thanks for being here. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about prayer today. Um, certainly, we live live in difficult times, and so we need to maintain our connection to God in prayer. Um, I have just a very short uh, verse to look at today. Uh, from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Uh, three verses, all in one sentence. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. I wanted to talk about two kinds of uh, two kinds of prayer, uh, meditation, devotional. Um, one is uh, you know these are these are both uh, very ancient, uh, widely used. Uh, one is called a breath prayer. Um, the it's it's interesting that in Hebrew the word for spirit and the word for breath are the are ruach are, are the are, are the same word. Um, so in breath prayer, uh, as we breathe, breathe in and breathe out, we pray, uh, so, you know, some, some sort of, um, some sort of repetitive prayer. Uh, one that's frequently used is, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. Uh, on the in breath, you can say, "Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God," and then on the out breath, "Have mercy on me, a sinner." Now, if you're if you're me, if you're or if you're like me, and you're a little asthmatic and you're a little short of breath, and that's uh, and you can't court and you can't uh, breathe, you can't fit all those words in on one breath. Uh, one way to do it is to to to. Uh, Pray Jesus on the in breath and mercy on the out breath. So you're inhaling Jesus and exhaling mercy. So Jesus, mercy, Jesus, mercy. So that's that's called a breath prayer. Uh, that that is that is one way that even even as we're breathing throughout the day, we we can uh, maintain uh, our connection to God. Um, Another prayer is the prayer of examine. Uh, this is an Ignatian practice, an Ignatian spiritual practice. Um, what uh, in the prayer of exam, what the prayer of examine does is uh, probably best to do it perhaps at the end of the day. Is you uh, you give thanks that uh, you remember that uh, your day your day was a gift from God. Uh, no matter how good or how bad your your day was a gift from God, so it begins in a place of gratitude, um, uh, and so we give thanks to God, uh, and then we ask God to uh, we ask God for the grace to uh, to to walk through our day. Essentially, we we ask Jesus to walk with us through our day, all the high points, the low points. Um, uh, we asked you, yeah, from from the time from the time we woke up to you know through throughout our day uh, and 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 uh, and up to whatever point we're praying. We asked Jesus, we uh, mentally and spiritually asked Jesus to walk with us through the day, and we and we look at our feelings for the day. What were the what were the high points of the day? What were the low points of the day? Um, what were uh, what were the places where we feel especially felt especially connected to God? What were the places where we felt especially disconnected from God? Um, and inevitably, inevitably, we're going to hit some points uh, you know, where where we strayed, where we where we went went off the rails, where we're, we want to say, "Oh, Jesus, I don't think you want to look at this part." Um, and the, the and we and we ask Jesus for forgiveness for the places where we went astray, where we where we did not uh, follow in God's way. Um, and then we and then uh, we we take our learnings from from that walk through the day with Jesus. Uh, we pray we pray for we pray in gratitude, uh, and we look look to tomorrow 
uh, and to you know to see how we can be even more connected to Jesus. Um, I will I'll post some additional articles and pieces on these uh, prayer practices. But I just wanted to uh, just wanted to share these uh, since we're we're going through a very difficult time and we're going through it together. Um, this is a way that together we can we can maintain our constant connection to God. Uh, this is a way in which we can rejoice always, pray without ceasing, and give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Let us pray, dear God. We Thank you that you give us the gift of prayer, that we can uh, maintain our connection with you. Uh, you do not leave us nor forsake us, even though sometimes we try to leave or forsake you. We pray that uh, grant, grant us courage and perseverance uh, in these difficult days. As always, we pray for deliverance from this pandemic. We pray for all who are working uh, in health care and in research to combat it. And we pray for all who are having to uh, to to uh, work uh, as essential workers, often without sufficient protection during these difficult days. Uh, walk with us all, guide our steps and guard our paths. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen.